Jeremy Oliver here in the cellar door at Mr Mick with Mr Mick's protege, <laughs> Tim Adams. Old protege. <laughs> Forever young. And uh, we are tasting the Mr Mick Riesling from mm. 2023, mm. Tim. Mm. This is a glorious Grey Riesling. Mm. And tell me what you are trying to do as the maker of this wine. Yeah. We go way back into the Leasingham era when I learned to make Riesling uh, under Mr Mick. There were, there were two Riesling in the principal dry Riesling lineup. One was bin seven, one was bin five. Bin seven is one that we've we've always adhered to in style for the Tim Adams Riesling. And this one, for Mr Mick, we, we tend to favour the bin five style out of those, which was Mr Mick's, I guess it was the Riesling that he made for the masses. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a little bit riper, a little bit fuller in the mouth, a little bit, um, two or three grams of residual sweetness, slightly less acidity than the bin seven and picked a little bit later in the season, obviously, to meet all of those objectives. So this, this typically would be the wine that we have from the middle part of the season. It's largely from uh, vineyards that are demonstrating a little bit more of the tropical characters rather than the citrus characters and floral mm -hmm. characters that we see early in the season. And from vineyards that are not necessarily on eastern slopes. So vineyards of ours on Riesling for Riesling on east-facing slopes are the sites that we use most for Pretty more bin, austere. bin seven yeah, yeah, yeah. style, our Tim mm. Adams Riesling, and the more austere style because mm. it's morning sunshine and not so much afternoon. But we find we get the development in, in these vineyards of more of the muscovy overtones. Okay, so you're really looking for ripeness, juiciness. Yeah. You're leaving, t this is a tiny, tiny amount of tiny sugar. Amount the human sugar. palate threshold is yeah. a little bit higher than Absolutely. what you're leaving. Absolutely. So this does not, this is not a sweet not Riesling sweet. No, at all no, by any means. Sweet. But it's a delicious forward wine and mm. you're, wanting, you're, you're, you're delivering here a wine that's got this lovely citrus and into that yep. tropical musky yep. area musky. you're talking yeah. about. It's got some juiciness and there's some mm. fine chalkiness beneath it mm. and a really zesty, refreshing acidity yeah. that people are looking for mm. um, when they're drinking a Riesling. Yeah. Delicious now. Yes. I'd actually like to see yeah, this in the cellar years. for a yeah. five or eight year yeah, period, maybe. Five years is really yeah. good for these wines. Going back again to the style, the bin five, I, rem I remember drinking bin fives that were 10 years old mm. under cork that, mm. would, that, that lasted well, you know. So Riesling's from Clare lasted a lot, very long time, as you know. So mm. lovely low pH, good natural acidities and, and fantastic fruit flavour. So, uh, you know, it, it is the variety that Clare's best known for. You know, we've, we're busting our chops to diversify and, and, and grow some other varieties that we hope Claire will become very well known for and is becoming known for. But Riesling, of course, is the one that we're best known for on a world scale. So, Mr Mick, uh, Riesling 2023, absolutely delicious wine, uh, classical regional qualities. Enjoy that and uh, thanks for tuning in on Oliver's Wines and you'll see this in our store.